Did you know Australia is wider than the moon? But before we get into today's facts, welcome to Random Facts with Neil, the channel that explores the world of random, fun, interesting, completely irrelevant facts. Now, if you love learning new random stuff the way we do here, then hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, then meet us back here for every new video and we'll learn some new fun random stuff together. All right, you guys all ready? Let's go. Fact number one. Now this one's pretty cool because this fact takes me back to my childhood when seemingly every movie that I was into had something to do with time travel. So I remember being that young age, watching these movies, thinking to myself, is, is this possible? Is this, like, is this real? And then you get older and you realize it's all bullshit. Well, little did I know, there actually is a place in the world where time travel is absolutely possible. Did you know there are two islands separated by only 2.4 miles that are also separated by 20 hours of time difference? Now, these two islands known as the Diomede Islands, um, the Little Diomede and Big Diomede Islands, or also known as Yesterday Island and Tomorrow Island. Now, the reason for this huge time difference is because the international date line runs smack dab right between these two islands. So if you ever wonder to yourself, where in the world and at what point does today become tomorrow? Well, this is the point. So, for example, if you went to work on Yesterday Island on Friday morning and decided, you know, I don't feel like hacking it today. I really wish it was tomorrow. All you would need to do is go 2.4 miles west and you would fast forward to Saturday because 10 a.m. Friday morning is 6 a.m. Saturday morning between the two islands. So, great Scott. Fact number two. So in doing this YouTube channel, I'm quickly learning what a simple brain I have because of all the facts that I tend to find. It's amazing how fascinated I am by the simplest, oh, look how big that is, or look how small that is. So bring on the jokes in the comment section, I know. But this is one of those facts. So when we're talking about the United States and the size of the United States, really the biggest inconvenience that we have is navigating the different time zones that we have. So the three hour difference between East to West Coast. So if you have a job where you travel a lot or if you go on vacation across country, relatively speaking, it's a pretty minor inconvenience. However, if you lived in Russia, that wouldn't be the case. Did you know Russia is so large, it has 11 different time zones spanning 14 hours. Now at its widest, Russia spans over 5,600 miles from east to west and has a total area of over 6.6 .6 million square miles. So to put that in perspective, Russia actually encompasses more than one eighth of all inhabited land on the planet. So as sort of cool as that fact is, when I first read it, the first thing that I thought of was, I would love to see the NFL try to navigate uh, the kickoff schedule with that. With that. So it probably look like this. Just a complete disaster. Fact number three. All right, this one's a fairly straightforward, just trivia question. I'll even let you try to answer it. I'll give you 10 seconds. Name for me of the United States, the states that are furthest south, furthest north, furthest east, and furthest west. Go. Got it? Okay. South, what'd you say? Florida? Close, but wrong. It's actually Hawaii. If you spin the globe around, you'll actually see that Hawaii, as far as it relates to the equator, is about five degrees closer to the equator than the southern tip of Florida. As for the other three, the answer's actually the same. Did you know that Alaska is the northernmost, westernmost, and easternmost state in the US. Now, north and west both make sense, but east can be a little bit of a head scratcher until you realize that that little chain of islands, the, uh, the Aleutian Islands, actually crosses over the 180 degree meridian line, which is the changeover point from east to west. 
Because of this, this makes, and I'm gonna butcher these, the island of Amatignac, the westernmost point of the United States. And then when you spin the globe all the way around, the island of Simisopochnoi, the easternmost point of the United States. So, array geography. Fact number four. This is yet another dumb brain fact that I was just fascinated by the size or depth of something, so I decided to include it. So, when talking about the deepest point in the ocean, I probably would have told you that was somewhere in the North Atlantic, because I grew up in the 90s, and that's when the movie Titanic came out. And all we heard for several years is, oh, we can't go down there, it's too deep, we can't breathe, it'll crush us, it's over six miles deep, or whatever. Is that wrong? Probably wrong. Anyway, the Titanic sits about 13,000 feet down, and as deep as that might sound, it's not even close to the deepest point in the ocean. Did you know the deepest point in the ocean is deep enough to hold Mount Everest and then some? That's right. Whereas Mount Everest comes in at just over 29,000 feet, the Challenger Deep, which is located in the western Pacific Ocean at the southern end of the Mariana Trench, comes in at just under 36,000 feet deep. So over 6,000 feet of room to spare to hold Mount Everest. Now, going back to the Titanic and how difficult we always heard it was to get to that depth to explore, believe it or not, the Challenger Deep actually has been explored before. But only a couple of times. Once back in the 60s and the other by this guy, which big surprise, right? But uh, I will say it is probably wise to only take one or two looks and then just cross it off the list because I've seen enough movies to know the deeper you get, the bigger and meaner stuff gets. So. This segment brought to you by the word deep. Fact number five. All right, let's talk about zip codes. Hooray, right? Well, zip codes, that five-digit code at the end of mailing addresses that you don't know what it means, I don't know what it means. Somehow it helps our mail get where it's going. Well, <clears throat> zip codes are actually a lot newer than I knew they were. Um, they were actually established on July 1st of 1963. That's when they went into use. And ZIP actually stands for something, which I didn't know. ZIP stands for Zone Improvement Plan, which was designed to help the post office be more accurate and more speedy with their service. Today, there are over 41,000 different zip codes in the U.S., and each zip code roughly holds about 100,000 mailing addresses on average. Now, those numbers, this is an interesting fact. Did you know there are 41 different buildings in New York City with their own zip code? Now, your initial thought is probably the same as mine, well, look at these giant skyscrapers. I mean, they're enormous. Of course, some of these might have their own zip code. Well, the size of the building is actually not one of the determining factors. More importantly are certain factors like how many businesses reside in that building and how efficiently is the post office able to keep up with the volume of mail in and out of a particular building. To quote a U.S. Postal Service spokesman, unique zip codes will be assigned when the zip plus four does not meet delivery, distribution, or customer requirements. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard because the post office has still not figured out my change of address from two years ago. So give me my own zip code. Please, please just give me my own. If you can't figure that out. Ridiculous. Fact number six. If I was to ask you where the largest cave system in the world was, what would you say? Before I knew this, I probably would have said somewhere maybe in the Middle East, in the mountains of Afghanistan or Pakistan, maybe somewhere in South America, in the Amazon, or closer to the Andes, but uh, no, it's not. Did you know the largest cave system in the world is actually in the United States, in the state of Kentucky? Now, this cave, named Mammoth Cave, which is in Mammoth Cave National Park, was discovered thousands of years ago by indigenous people and has been explored multiple times over the centuries, at least up to about 400 miles of it or so. Now, as large as that sounds, scientists believe there's another two to 300 miles of cave that hasn't even been explored yet. So at uh, different points throughout the cave, it's up to several hundred feet deep and has up to five different layers of passages and cave systems throughout. So Kentucky, who, uh, who knew? Got uh, uh, horse racing, whiskey, and caves. 
all which are pretty dangerous. Okay, let's recap today's facts. Fact number one, two islands in the Pacific Ocean separated by only two and a half miles are separated by 20 hours in time difference. Fact number two, Russia is so large it has 11 different time zones. Fact number three, Alaska is the northernmost, easternmost, and westernmost state in the United States. Fact number four, the deepest point in the ocean, the Challenger Deep, is deep enough to hold Mount Everest with over 5,000 feet of room to spare. Fact number five, 41 different buildings in New York City have their own zip code. And fact number six, the largest cave system in the world is in the state of Kentucky in the U.S. All right, that's it for today. Hope you got something out of today's video. In addition to subscribing below, please be sure to check out our social media platforms for more fun random facts. This has been Random Facts with Neil, and now we know what we didn't know.